so cpq is more about products we are adding products into the cart and that is all cpq has to do to add the products in the cart and then do the quotation for it so now let us introduce some products in our system now i have moved to aptos product setup application and here in the products i will do what i will create a new product now before creating this new product i have made some changes in the layout so what changes i have made let us first talk about it so i go to my product object okay and here when i go to fields and relationship i see that there are many new fields added because of the package installation like icon size invoice level so all these fields they are coming from the package which package aptest config 2 package okay i want to add some of these fields on the layout so if if you go to page layouts you will notice that you will notice that there is a new layout which is added by aptest okay uh, you can use this layout as well you can assign it to your profile and make use of it or you can make the modification in the existing layout i have made the modification in the existing layout the product layout and what modifications i did now the modification i did is i have added some fields in, uh, from the package so i added configuration type has options icon must configure has attributes and icon image also one more change which I have made is in the related list. In the related list for now, I have added this price list over here. I will add as per the needs. So I have added price list. I have also added hierarchy view. I have added attribute groups and option group and options. It's fine if you do not know what these are. But for now, I have done it. And as the we proceed, we will discuss about the objects. Okay. So now if I go to product. Okay. Now if I go to product i can create a new product now and let me name this product test conga product and i will give one product code tcp okay and maybe tcp v1 now the configuration type so there, there are certain values here you can either create a standalone products bundle products or option products so bundle and option we will talk about them the standalone or straightforward single product which have no dependency on other product they can be sold alone you need not to bundle them along with other products to sell them out okay what about bundle product and option product we will go in detail but for now what i want to do is i want to show you the cart i want to show you the setup which we did in the flow settings i want to show you all that okay so i am not focused on the product setup at this point i am not focused on the i am only focused on the base so so at this point i am only focused on the bare minimum setup at the product level make it very simplified so that I, we can go into the cpq screen okay so that we can go into the cpq flow so i i choose a standalone and make sure you make it active okay and then save it so now i have my product setup done but at this point this product is not ready to be added in the cart in the cart you cannot add this product now the question is why because in cart we do not add products okay what we add is pli what is this this is price list item in cart we add price list item okay now where do i find this price list item this price list item is the junction object and the parent object for this are product and price list so for product my record is there tcp v1 i have just set up right test conga product version 1 now i need to add one price list as well the concept of price list is very similar to price book concept okay which stand which out of box sales cloud in which uh, in salesforce out of box sales cloud has so here we use price list let me show you where price list is there so let us go to price list and create one record at least one record for now so that i can create pli price list item so i'll say usd price book 
okay and there are other fields we need not to go in detail as of now now you can make it active there are other fields like effective date expiration date okay so we will go in detail little later but for now this is the price book just save it and come back to your product okay this is your product now you have one product you have one price book go to related and this related list you will see price list right see it shows price list but this is basically nothing but price list item okay so you will see that kind of confusion i don't know why but uh, we, we will see it for many other objects as well but this is not price list this is basically price list item okay so here i will go ahead and create a new price list now when i create a price list i so this is really very important object price list item see this is price list item it is a very important object and uh, for now we will do the basic setup i'll choose the price book product is auto populated and that's it we will give a list price to it let's say 100 us dollar okay and we will keep it per unit and price type so here you select whether this is a one time product if or it is a recurring product so what kind of pricing you want to set up so let's keep it simple we will keep it one time okay and make it active so that's it for now just save it okay now this product is added into this price list now since this product is added into the price list then you can consider that it would be available in the cart okay it would be available in the cart so the question is how to go to cart now to create a cart i suggest you first go to opportunity and in opportunities let's say i am opening this opportunity so first thing you do is uh, you in the uh, you in the related list add in the related list add a component so let's go to edit object or i would say let us go to yeah edit object then page layouts and here for all these layouts and here in the layout from the related list add this object code proposal okay and save it now you do it for you can do it for all the layouts so let's quickly do it so if you want you can do it for all the layouts so i'm doing it for all and adding this on the top okay this is done and then you can go back to your opportunity So now let us go back to the opportunity and here when I hit refresh in the related I will see proposals. Now click on new. Now it will ask you for the recall type. So there are two recall types available. One is proposal and another one is RFP. Okay. These are the default recall types which are provided. If you want to add more recall types, you can add. Okay, and the proposal object, it is added by the conga package. So if I go to proposal, or you can easily find it by slash proposal, okay, code slash proposal. So this is the API name of this uh, object. It comes with a package aptus proposal. Now, if you go to its page layouts, if you go to its recall types, there are two recall types by default. One is proposal, another one is RFP. Now, if you want to add more record type, you can introduce more record types as well. So we will create proposal with a proposal record type. Both these record types uh, are by default provided by Conga package. 
now under page layouts since we are going to use proposal recall type so for proposal layout i would like to add few fields here uh, one of the field which i would like to add is price list okay so let me add price list and another field which i would like to add is configure products okay so i will use this configure products now configure products and price list these two have added now let me save this also i can add one more thing under the related list i will add configurations now what is configurations we will talk about it but let me just add it right away okay then coming back to this point where we were discussing creating a proposal so what i am doing i am creating the proposal from opportunity you can go to proposal tab itself and then also you can create but there you have to populate opportunity because opportunity is the mandatory field if you look at this field in page layout the opportunity field by default it is mandatory so basically so what we are doing here we are creating the proposal from opportunity itself so go ahead and click on next now give your proposal a name test demo product version 1 okay any name you can give then there is a flag whether you want to keep this proposal as a primary the primary proposal can sync back to the opportunity then you have accounts now for account i give the same value as the account of the opportunity and then in the price list we have one price list usd price for so when you select the price list only then you will be able to configure the cart and in that cart you will see the products which are added in this price list okay so i save it so my code is ready let me go to my code okay code proposal whatever you say now there is a field called proposal category you can choose the category of the proposal if you have any such discriminations you can say code or you can say proposal i'll call it proposal and then save okay and that's it now we will click on configure product button so this button this is basically a formula field okay now if i go to this configure product in the fields and relationship see here configure products yeah this is the one so it, this one is a formula field okay and it th this this button appears or this link appear now this custom link only appears if you have a value in the price list id if you do not have price list id selected then this button will not work okay and it further navigates you to an apex page which is the page where you configure your cart okay and the flow so out of box the flow which is in use is the default flow if you want to use some other flow then you should set up a new custom field you cannot modify the formula over here because this is this this field comes out of box and you are not allowed to modify the formula but you can create your own formula and change the name of the flow since we have only one flow in the system we talked about the flow it is the container basically so based on the flow your cart page and everything will vary okay so this is the value we are passing and then this is the image which we see on the ui okay so let us go back here and click on this link when i click on this link i need to wait a little bit because it takes a while to load this page all right here we are now this page is your search page this page is your catalog page this is where you find your products to add it into the system right now i have just one product which is added into the price list that is one price list we created right usd price list i have just one product i can either put the name of the product here and find it out or i can just click on this search bar and press enter and it will show me all the products 
as we discussed i just have one product right now in the price list so i will add this to into the cart okay when you click on add to cart you will see that the product got added it shows one and then you can open this check what is there in your cart from here okay this is the cart view and when you click on view cart it will open cart view detail page where you will see the products quantity net price so these are the columns which we configured right product quantity net price base price option price all right option price and so on even this is the one view if you want to create further views on top of it it allows you to create further views from here okay and then these are the action buttons okay add more product install product finalize and then reprice save send proposal these all are the action buttons now if i want to give i i, I will just show it to you very quickly if i want to give some adjustment to this price we, you remember we set up the list price as 100 us dollar and that is why it shows 100 us dollar at all points but let's say while configuring the card sales rep wants to give discount okay they want to give 10 percent discount for example now they have done slight adjustment and the price is adjusted to 90 dollars now we will talk further about it but that's how but that is one feature which we get from conga okay adjustment or giving the discounts you can further go ahead and ask for approval on top of the discount that also we will see once you adjust the price always click on reprice and then if there are any approvals required those approvals will fire as of now we are just in the starting phase there are no approvals configured this is let's say this is the final uh, deal this is the final thing you your customer wants okay and you can find if, if you are good to finalize your sales rep will talk, just click on the finalize button once it is finalized So when you click on finalized it will basically now once the quote is finalized what it will happen in the configurations so configuration is nothing but the cart itself so let me open this card for you you remember we added this configuration as a related list now when you look at this configuration see when you look at this configuration this is the card you some call that configuration some call it card so when you look at this card record it shows the finalized date now this is an important field which talks which reflects when this got finalized and there is a status which says finalized okay and this card is for business object type proposal it adds up further details like whom it is sold to and then which price book is in use so it is usd price book this is the effective price book so if i go to relate it it will show line items as well so this is the cart line item which we added into the system okay the name of the configuration so it has a lookup to the now now it has a relationship with the configuration and it contains further details like what is the adjustment price how much quantity and all okay the list price the base price per unit method which price line item is which price list item is in use so all that information is over here okay and now if i go back to quote under related you will find ql which is quote line item if i open this this is the quote line item now quote line items or you also call we also call them proposal line item they are created once the cart is finalized 